Are you curious about what's happened in the real estate market in Hawaii? Well, stick around because in today's video, I'll cover what's happened in real estate in the last seven days. We'll talk a little bit about the Mililani market and we're going to explore what to expect going forward. So let's jump in. I'm Tehani, I'm a real estate professional with Better Homes and Gardens Advantage Realty and welcome to my show. Hi, I'm Tehani, I'm a real estate professional with Better Homes and Gardens Advantage Realty and welcome to my show. Let's get started. So let's see what's happened in real estate in the last seven days. 257 single family homes have sold and are in escrow showing, not showing, or are active. That's up from 224 single family homes that were in the same situation last week. So that's um, something that's actually happening. We see an, a little bit of an increase in um, properties that are now on the market. Uh, one piece of information that is available on the property fact sheet is DOM or days on market. And I wanted to look into that a little bit. Um, I wanted to look into the days on market. Uh, there were a few properties um, in this uh, cycle that have gone into escrow after being on the market for almost um, a year in one case. So the first property is in Hawaii Kai. It's a 7,900 Hawaii Kai Drive and it's listed for 1,800,000 and it's been on the market for 307 days and recently went into escrow showing. Uh, another property is also in the Diamond Head area. This is 1422 La Amia Street, uh, listed for 2,399,000 and is now in escrow after being on the market for 271 days. And then the third property is also in Diamond Head. It is a 3908 Coco Drive. Uh, listed for 975000 and now in escrow after being on the market for 243 days. So the very first property that I mentioned in Hawaii Kai was actually started on the market at $1,948,000 and then it, there was a price reduction to $1.8 million and it is now in escrow after being on the market for 307 days. Uh, La Amia, which is in uh, Wailaiki, is started on the market at $2,600,000 and is now listed for 2,399,000 and in escrow after 271 days. Uh, this one is interesting. This is Coco Drive, also in the Wilhelm, Wilhelmina uh, neighborhood, which is right next to um, the valley that's right next to Wailaiiki. And well, actually not Wailaiiki, it's uh, Wailainui and then Wilhelmina. So this particular property has been on the market for 345 days. That's the continuous days on the market. And it started at a list price of $1,049,900. It has been uh, reduced to $975,000 and it is now on the market for 243 days. So of the 345 continuous days, 243 is at this uh, MLS uh, number. So what's happened in the Mililani market in the last seven days? There's a lot of activity and I printed out all of the properties that are uh, on the market and I kind of wanted to share a little bit with you uh, what's happening. So the very first um, listing is on Maepa, Maepa Street listed for $888,000 um, on the market for two days and um, it's a four bedroom two and a half bath uh, property. The next uh, property is on Anopili Street 
this is for nine hundred and ninety five thousand dollars it's a four bedroom three bath property both are uh, active properties so now we're going to come into a little bit of the uh, in escrow showing so the first is on Koholo Street this is at nine hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars a five bedroom two and a half a bath property which is uh, for Mililani there aren't many five bedroom homes um, so this is kind of a, a I want to say like a like a good uh, buy that's not readily available it's only been on the market for five days and it's now in escrow okay here's another one this is also in escrow showing it's on Hina Hina Lee Street and uh, listed at six hundred thirty five thousand three hundred dollars three bedrooms one and a half baths in escrow after six days Here's another property on Ho'omua Street, um, listed for $845,000 on the market for 18 days and now in escrow. This is a three bedroom, uh, two bath home. And so now we're gonna get into the, uh, the properties that are in escrow and not showing. So this one is on Hinali'i Street, once again, um, a three bedroom, two bath, Two and a half bath homes, home listed for six hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Been on the market for zero days, so it's um, probably went straight into escrow um, before it was listed. The next, so there's just one property um, that is in escrow, not showing, and the rest have sold. So this is interesting. This is on Naho Kupa Street. It's a um, four bedroom, three and a half bath property in the Mililani area that listed above, that sold above the list price of 820,000. This property sold $10,000 higher than that at 830 and only on the market for three days. Here's another above um, asking uh, sales price. This is on Kapa Kapa Way in the Mililani area. Uh, been on the market for four days, three bedrooms, two baths. It was listed for seven hundred twenty-five thousand, and it sold for seven hundred thirty-one thousand five hundred dollars. Here's another property that's on Kiilani Place in Mililani. Uh, list uh, sold for seven hundred sixty. So this one is actually sold below the list price. The list price was seven ninety five, and this property sold for seven hundred and sixty thousand. Only on the market though for eleven days. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath uh, home. But here is once again another um, property that sold above the asking price. So this is on Pahala Place. Uh, this is uh, in Mililani Malka. And it was listed for $889,000. It was on the market for five days. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home, but it sold for $915,500. And then finally, the last property is on Koli'i, Koli, Koli, geez, what is that? Koliliko, Koliliko Street. Uh, in Mililani Maoka, and this sold for the asking price of $980,000. It was only on the market for 10 days, a uh, four bedroom, two and a half bath home. And as you can see, th there were 11 properties in Mililani that um, were listed in this last seven day period, 11 properties. Uh, many of the sold properties were above asking and for all the properties it's not there's not much time that it actually sits on the market so I think in terms of the price point um, and th that I think is really kind of a, a good uh, indicator of where people are um, in terms of spending uh, on a home and it shows because so many of the properties are above asking So what can we expect going forward? Um, the Board of Realtors has announced that public open houses are now permissible. They are going to start on Sunday, this coming Sunday, which is June 7th. And there are a few precautions that um, 
we must adhere to. We need to continue practicing social distancing. I believe it's a 10 person limit um, at the property. We have to have a mask. Uh, wearing gloves is probably something that I would uh, suggest. And you really need to wash your hands. And just to continue um, those safety measures uh, probably going forward. I don't believe though that um, live virtual open houses, which is what many of the realtors did from March through uh, May, I don't think that that's going to go away. I think that's going to remain and that it'll be interesting to see how uh, active the public open houses will be once we you know, do it for a couple of weeks, how many people uh, will actually go out to see the homes or will prefer to still have private showings. Uh, that'll be interesting to see what happens. The inventory remains uh, really tight. Homes that are really in good condition, sh that show well and are priced right, are going into ESCO fairly quickly. We've seen that uh, demonstrated in the Milinani uh, market. Interest rates are historically low uh, right now, and buyers who have been pre-qualified and are looking right now are snatching up some hot properties at a good price. If you're thinking about making a move, please let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate that. It gives me some uh, feedback on um, kind of where you are in this whole real estate, uh, what's happening now. So I think that's it. I covered a little bit about what's happened in the last seven days. We talked about the Mililani market, what's going on in the market in Mililani, and also uh, did a little recap on what I can expect going forward. Stay tuned for our next video. We'll cover uh, what's happened in the last seven days, and I will see you then. Talk to you later.